Hi there, thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today I have a question from Marnie, so I'll read part of what she wrote me here. It's a bit long, so I'll just give you this first part. I just found out my long distance boyfriend is married. My long distance boyfriend's been lying to me for two years. I found out through a friend of mine who saw him with his wife and kids near his home. She was there on vacation last week and had met him with me a few times in my home. Now what do I do? I haven't confronted him yet. I do love him. Should I give him an ultimatum? It's me or his wife? What do you think, Marnie? Well, no, Marnie, I don't think you should give him an ultimatum. Because, first of all, why do you want to be with somebody who's lied to you for two years? Who's living a double life? He's a scammer. He's doing all these things that are not honest with you. So basically, you've been living a lie for two years. I'm really happy to hear that your, your friend told you that she saw him because a lot of people would have a hard time relaying that to their friend for fear of hurting them or causing a problem in the friendship that you wouldn't believe them. So I'm really glad she told you because you have every right to know that this guy is not who he says he is. As far as giving an ultimatum to anybody, I, I've never really been big on this because I really feel that if things are where they're supposed to be, they flow naturally into that place where you want it to go. You don't have to force somebody to be there. This guy is really enjoying having the best of both worlds and he's been able to do this for two years. Now I don't know if you missed a bunch of red flags because I'm thinking you might have. The fact that he's got a family, kids, and you've been seeing him for two years. I'm wondering if maybe he's just coming to your place and you've never been to his place. Ladies, this is something for everyone to pay attention to. You need to be able to see their home, where they live, all their surroundings, as much as they see yours when you're in a long distance relationship or even in your own city. Because sometimes people can scam in their own city as well. It doesn't just always happen with long distance. You really need to share everything with somebody when you're in a two year committed partnership. So I'm guessing that this person probably had a few things that he wasn't being open with you about. He maybe made some rules in the beginning that you just followed and kept following and thought, oh, this is, this is fine, it works well. He's really attentive to me a couple of days a week. Maybe it's only one day a week. It doesn't matter what it is. You should be able to see his home, his surroundings, and all the things that go with him. For him to be able to lie to you for two years like this, why would you even want to give him an ultimatum? What is it about this guy after you found out that you're still okay with? I know it's hard to just dump somebody when you love them and you've loved them for two years, but sometimes you have to get a little madder than you want to to get past it. Because even if you gave him this question and he said, okay, well, I'll leave my wife for you, when would you ever trust him? This guy is capable of lying for two solid years to two different women that he supposedly loves. What's going to stop him from doing this with somebody else if he comes and plays house with you? How do you know he's not going to continue to see the wife? All these other things. If somebody shows you their true colors, I'm sorry, it's just something you've got to say to yourself, I have to move on. This is never going to work out. I feel bad that I, I missed out on things that maybe were red flags. Maybe the guy was just that good. But there's usually cracks. There's usually things that are out there that sometimes we choose to ignore. We see the signs, but we'd rather have this part-time long-distance relationship than have nothing at all. Don't ever sell yourself short. You should be able to get you know, pretty much everything you want in a relationship. You shouldn't have to take a back seat. And if you're only seeing somebody sporadically, there's probably something else going on. That's my uh, advice to you here, Marnie. I really don't think you should give any ultimatums. I think you should chalk it up at a two-year experience and start really playing close attention to who you let into your life and watch what they say and what they do. Don't believe everything and be a part of their life in every aspect, not just when they come and see you. 
So thanks for your question. Uh, let me know what happens. I, I really hope that you can move on. I'm sorry this happened to you. And um, no, the guy does not deserve anything more from you. So please move on and find somebody who's in your city that you can have a great relationship with. Thanks so much for writing. Take care, everyone. Please sub subscribe to my channel here, like the video, and comment. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.